places, but the canned goods in that he bought off of one chain. From Bishop? Did he have meat? The pot of meat? Yeah. <coughs> Where did he get his meat from? Well, different packing houses. Different packing houses that, uh, you know, that butchered by half a beef, you know, cut it up himself. Did you work there? Huh? Did you work at Pasto? Sure. What'd you do? Did everything. Wait on customers. Worked in the butcher department, cleaning the block. Clean the counters every night. You had to wash the counters. <laughs> you can't say that. that bloody counter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I used to work in there too, and having all those kids and having to work in the store too. Little babies in the back. Oh, cause you lived in the back. We lived right in the store, you know. Rented out the house on Monroe. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Is that when they've got the bed bugs? Got everything. Cockroaches, bed bugs, rats. Well, the rats were there. <laughs> the rats were there. Oh. And it was full of rats. Was there? Why? Because the house like ours on Monroe. See, this house has got a full cellar, right? For the, no, but on Monroe, we only had a part of the house was cellar and part was set on blocks. And there was nothing to keep the rats from coming in. There were no walls. Between the between the the house, there was only a crawl space under there, you mm -hmm. know, and that's where the rats ran back and forth. There was no, they didn't know enough to block them off. Didn't you think anything of it? You're on the southern, they'd run over the top of your head. Go out in the woodshed, and you're skirty all over the place, in a hole. Sophie, eat you. Your grandpa's so itchy. Huh? You're so itchy. Oh. You're always itching. And I itch. You go out and sit out in the yard in the summertime, and you could see the rats going from one house to the other. Back and And you didn't, you didn't think anything of it. When you sit in the kitchen like this at night, when it was quiet, you could hear him in the, in the walls. I couldn't stand that. Yeah, I couldn't. I mean, I used to, th there was a couple of mice in the attic on Bond Cliff. And I'd lay there, you know, and you knew when they got up there. Yeah, I had mice. Some little shits, they were, you know, you could hear them go, Duh across the floor. Rats. Well, I know. I didn't even like the thought of a mouse being in my house. Not above me. Only anyway. once there was one in the house. Uh, what happened? My mom went in the bathroom. There was a basket of wash and she was going to do her laundry and she moved the clothes and a rat ran out. Ran out the kitchen, out the door. <laughs> they weren't in the house though, they didn't, for whatever reason they didn't come in. Scared of people. But you could hear them digging in the walls. I wonder if they're still down there. How what? I wonder if they're still there. Where from? Monroe Street. And you want to 
Don't you have the same problem now as they did then? I would imagine. Why though? Where'd they come from, Pop? I mean, you know, the, the quarry, they were always in the quarry. Where would they come from? And there, there, there's supposedly a problem around my apartment because it's digging in the water, you know, digging. Well, the construction churns them up, but what about what would be on Monroe? Sloppy garbage. Yeah. See, and Kermit. Well, I'm seeing my Kermit. Jimmy already. had it in the garbage. He said. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of rats, so. No, we didn't have any. One time, on Delavan, they tore up an old, like a, a little barn, you know, one of the old buildings. It was like a garage, you know, but taller in the garage. Must have, they said, always said it was a barn, you know, a small barn. They tore that down, and then the next day we saw there was rats in our yard. As long as you kept the garbage covered, you they, didn't didn't stay, they won't stay. But the, where she's talking about around the waterfront, they got to have water. They eat their, they drink their weight in the water every day. A rat. In other words, if a rat weighs two pounds, he drinks that, that much water every day. Got to have it. Well, well, why did? You I know, don't know. Just the way they're made. That's why they're in the sewers. No, they're all over. Wherever they can live. Yeah, but I mean, in the cities, they're in the sewers. Maybe because there's water there. There's more than water. Is that a sewer? Is a sewer rat different than a regular rat, or is a rat a rat? No, I think a rat's a rat. <laughs> they always tell you about the rats are that long. Yeah, but that's a rat. Well, the size of people cats. get excited and see something, and it all of a sudden they get that big. You know. They're big enough. About, about as big as a squirrel. You know, like a fur a squirrel has got a long furry tail. It's just got that. But they only get so big. There's no reason for them to get bigger just because it's down by the waterfront. But the exaggeration is that the rats were that long. You know, they don't get that long. I've seen thousands. You be used to trap them in a mill for experimental. Mm -hmm. They used to put those box traps and catch them. Then they they used to trap pigeons up on a roof. They had big traps up there for pigeons. Then the students used to come and collect them. And Danny Redmond used to catch those. He used to take those rat traps and, and let one loose in the office. And the office was about Half as big as this room, just with one door, you know. He needs to <laughs> turn one loose in there, get that guy's all, oh, when they'd see that rat, they'd come all, try to get out the door at the same time. <laughs> Danny Redmond, he was a coop, I tell you, he was a character. He was really something. What happened to him? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's. The two brothers were Jesuit priests. Hmm? Canisius. His daughter was a nun. No kidding, Dad. Yeah, Joe and Frank uh, Redmond. And Newman's wife was related to them. Do you think that that uh, policeman is a Redmond? That is he related to him? I would. I wouldn't be surprised. But he is a homely guy. Isn't he one of the one of the strangest pe looking people? Yeah. Who's uh -huh. that? It's a redman that's in a, he's a police something. He's a homicide detective. Yeah. Did you see him on the news? Yeah. They're all from the first ward. His father was playground di playground director. He had about ten kids or more, I don't know. 
I knew his father too. And Danny was, <laughs> he was like a boss at the mill, but he was a union boss, you know. He was in charge of the bag department. He had all these old guys working for him, cleaning bags and taking care of for life. You know, it was one department. And then they used to get bags in for, that they put cat food in for the farmers. Mm -hmm. And they were made out of, they were printed bags like curtains. That white material, mm -hmm. you know, just like a curtain. And that, that was so the farmers could empty the feet out of there and cut and cut the and sew the bags in the curtains for the so we used to bring them home. You know, we used to sweat them. The burlap? No, they weren't burlap, they were cotton. Oh. You know. And uh you know they had like cherries, you know. You can get a nice print on there, you mm -hmm. know? Shelly B. So, love it. Mm -hmm. Red cherries. So Ma Shelly. had them up in her kitchen. More Monroe? Yeah. <laughs> so, we, we played ball that Saturday. And I told Ma that Danny Redmond is the boss of the bag department. Where those bags come from? She took the curtains down. <laughs> <laughs> Did she? Yeah, as if Danny was here, you know, he was he was a real he was a real comedian, that guy, I'll tell you. He could mimic anybody. And Redmond were real comedians, I'll tell you. They were witty. I was oh, certainly uh, airborne with it. We had think? more fun with him. A lot of them are. He was well he was well uh, well known for it too. Remember there was a party. Oh. He could mimic everybody. What did you know from the mill? Yeah. Well, we worked here. We had some real characters in that mill, I tell you. We used to have more fun. <laughs> we used to have that, that you know, that, that wax that used to come for, that they used to seal jars with, you know. Mm -hmm. Paraffin. You know, and it was like, like, about the size and shape of a pound of butter, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know what it is in there? You know what it is? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so one, guy, one guy in the bag department, they were all the geezers. And Freddie Herger was from Switzerland, and they told him that, Fred Herger was from Switzerland, and he made goat butter. So Tom Smith asked him to bring him a pound. <laughs> so they wrapped up this wax. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it was Tom Smith for, for his goat butter, you know. Oh, was he mad the next day? <laughs> he was even mad. Oh, Grandpa. I got that Tom Smith so mad at me one day in the locker room. He took a bottle and threw it at me. Ooh. Hit the wall. He killed me. He hit me. Oh, what did you do? I don't know. Tell the truth. No, I don't remember what I did. But I said it's teasing. You know, agitating.
supposed to do, get up and work? Or, uh, I don't know, what should we do? Young people think today, as soon as you win dollar seventy five, where can I spend it? Where can I spend it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw you yesterday. The motel, yeah? I was mm -hmm. driving down the street and I saw you driving the tractor. Thank you. We pull the change. Oh, you don't mind it, do you? I'm not saying I work yet. I just worry about the swelling in your legs. I don't care how much salt you use. How is your leg? No, like that picture of that. I noticed that it didn't salt it. Mm -hmm. No? The battered fish for me? Did Pete go to club today, Dad? Hmm? Peter? Peter? No. Did he play cards? Yeah. By luck. Three, the other guy didn't show up. Two guys there to play. We fell right in. Huh? 
How does Pete play? Okay, but... <clears throat> we had a game one and Avery Nate and they caught him. Oh! Caught you the game. Was he a partner? I think, did Peter forget that? Is that why you think? I don't know why he did it. Who caught him? The opposition. Who else? I wouldn't call him. Mm -hmm. That's a great game. Do you ever play? What game? Do you know what play? I don't know how to play. Jimmy? You have to follow suit. And if you don't follow suit, you got trouble. If you haven't got. Uh -huh. So he trumped, and then later they found out that he had another space. Uh, no. So then you lose the game. Really? Yeah, and yeah, you get a you get a setback too. Mm -hmm. Caught this too many times. You had no trouble with your car starting at all? No. Don't seem to run good. And you had the, you see you got the thing, you can set the temperature? You had it marked down to 78. And I felt the heat coming out. Well, when that thing started pumping out all that hot air, I just started hitting buttons until it shut down. Yeah, but I set it up to 90 again, it's as high as it'll go. Didn't do nothing. sign there. No, that was for the flat. Yeah. You know, Albrecht's charge 10 bucks a flat for tomatoes. Mm -hmm. But over there they marked them, they said, you know, flat of tomatoes, uh, $4.99 or whatever. But the regular plants, in a, just in a, you know. Mm -hmm. How many in they a They didn't pack? have a mark. Four pack? Four or six. So I, I bought one of each and I took it to the store and she charged me a dollar for both of them. Oh, 50 cents a piece. Wow. That's a bargain. 50 they cents a You don't know. I don't know how many is in a flat. In a, in a Usually a buck. I think a dollar a dollar a piece, I think they were. Weren't they 99 cents a so ordinarily they're a buck and a half, then they marked them 99, now they're 50 cents. We're trying to, I think, get rid of all the plants now. Should we go there for the flowers? I stopped at the one on, I stopped at the one on um, transit, um, near French, and they didn't have much left in them, they had left look pretty sick. I saw the sign, 50% off. I think everyone went and bought them. It's really amazing. That, I mean, this is only a week after Memorial Day, isn't it? And the weather's been so lousy. And the weather's been so lousy. People haven't even now gone yet. Mm -hmm. We don't need 
A lot of people get discouraged, you know, if they don't get have the weather to put them in at a certain time, they just say the heck with it. Think so? Hmm. Make coffee? Mm-hmm. What time's your game on? Six thirty or seven. Let's count Don't even start counting points on my plate. The blood's going. <laughs> it's trying to get through that valve and it can't do it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and a half is up. And he's not finished yet. Mm -mm. Really, you are. Slow Grampy eat. You eat slow, don't you, Daddy? Choppers? Hard to chew? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Did you check your schedule tomorrow? I got a call. Huh? I got a call. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're going to take Weed's car to Ohio. I asked her if we could borrow her vehicle. <clears throat> Dad. Oh, you're gonna switch with her? Yeah. Oh. What car she got? <clears throat> I don't know, Daddy. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, she's got a vehicle like Jimmy and Cheryl's, you know, with where you can fit more people. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? A van? Not a van, but. Not a car, it's a, you know, it's a truck. Was there four of you? Five. Five. Mm -hmm. Going Saturday, coming home Sunday? Monday? Friday to Sunday. Friday after work. You watch Martha Stewart a lot, Graham? Who? Martha Stewart? Martha Stewart. No, okay. I have no reason to do He watches her when she's on Brian Gumbel now, see, not when she's got her program. Do you, Dad? No, I watch her either way. I turned it on this morning and it wasn't on. Is she not on anymore? I don't know. Maybe not. Something else was on. I love it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like 9.30 and there was some other program on. Charlie Rose is on our channel 9 because I watched him last night. Who was on? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I saw him. I didn't watch him. I just thought of you when I saw him. 
I like them. I do. I think mm. it's a wonderful. Interview. Charlie Rose. I um, love him though. He interviews people, Dad. He sits at a big round oak table. Huge. I don't know. I don't know. I never saw him. Don't you watch interview yeah, programs? Yeah. Don't you watch interview programs? Hmm. I watch different programs, you know, but nothing planned. So, you know, if I run into them, like Discovery or if I'm interested or if there's nothing else. Mm -hmm. Like no, I, I wouldn't watch nothing like Star Wars and... Why? Oh, gosh almighty. I'd rather watch paint dry. <laughs> Jeez, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's infantile. That's... You know, people pay move, go to movies and watch that? Mm-hmm. Zoom, mm -hmm. zoom, boom. <laughs> you know. This is realistic to me. Well, it's not it's science fiction. Hmm? Mostly fiction. It's science fiction. What's science? What's the science? 